Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com, and we're here today at the Cleveland Playhouse, and we're here with Tim Gregory and Frank Kopeck. You guys are starring in this new show, Noises Off, yeah. here at the Cleveland Playhouse. Yep. Yeah. Um, Frank, you're from L.A., correct? Yep. La La, La La, we call it. For how many years have you been an, a an actor in, in Los oh, Angeles? Oh, in Los Angeles, 20 years, but before that, 20 years in New York on the East Coast, too. So. Oh, no kidding. Frank's a, a Broadway star. Yeah, I've done some Broadway Seriously. shows, too. Yeah. Yeah. Original production of Sweeney Todd on Broadway, Sunday in the Park with George oh, on Broadway. Big. That's Some big. cool stuff, yeah. What's that like? Every day for, it's great. for how long did you have to do these? A year and a half wow. year, for one show and okay. uh, eight shows a week, you know. But, you know, it's a job. And then do they recognize you outside? Are you signing autographs and stuff? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. You know, I'm not. You know, you're not the big. Can I, the big can I tell the story? <laughs> oh, story. The, the oh, first God. week we were in re rehearsal, one of the actors in the show said to Frank, one of the younger actors said to Frank, "You know, you." You seem to be famous. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> no, no, no. He said, it looks like you should be famous. No, he like, said, you, you, seem? you seem famous, but yeah. you're not. Yeah, right. But you're, you're not. But you're not. You know, so. <laughs> but that's it. You know, you get the people that come in to see Broadway shows. They're thrilled with the whole idea of just getting a signature of someone in the show. I mean, right. the, who they're really there to get the signature of is know. like the Bernadette Peters yeah. and, the, yeah. you know, the Angela Lansbury's and all the big stars. Right. So. But Tim's it's a big be, star in Chicago. Be, and you're in Chicago, right, Tim? I'm in Chicago, right. Big theater town, big comedy town as well. Great theater town. Tell yeah. me about I, your news, right? What's that? Your new theater. Well, okay, this is premature. Oh, it oh, is? Whoops. Oh. It's in the preliminary stages. Thanks for doing this on the internet, Frank. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> well, Martha. You know, well, it's a possibility then, right? Okay, it's and a... that's so. Anyway, I'm in Chicago right. and uh, Keeping have been there busy. since 91. Thank you, Frank. Right. <laughs> But, anyway, but Tim, wonderful. at least you have actually seen this production, right? I mean, as, as an actor, you, you've seen Noises Off. I have. A lot of fun. It's a great time. And I saw a, a college production of oh. it where the actors in the set weren't really professional, and I had a blast. So right, you right. can imagine what Cleveland Playhouse is going to do with it. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> it's hilarious. It but really the is. challenge, Frank, if you haven't seen something, to, to be an actor, and I mean, how do you study something like this? Do you, do you get hold of videos? Do you, do you get Study hold the of, play, you mean? Yeah. The, I mean... No, you just get the play and you just right. read it. I mean, I've had enough experience. We all have enough experience here in professional actors that, exactly. you know, we have our, each of us has a way of approaching a script the way we do it. I mean, I read it. I try to learn a few of my lines before I get here. Some actors need to get here. They need to have their blocking, which is where they go from point A to point B right. during the play. You know, they, everybody has their own system. But we basically only have two, three weeks to really get it under our belt before right. we really get in front of an audience. And all actors have horror stories of rehearsals and performances. Oh, yeah. And that's what this play is about. Exactly. It's about uh, a, a sex farce, a British sex farce, that spirals out of control between what's happening on stage and backstage. And sort of a backstage, who knows? Who well, you get to see the play in, in rehearsal in the first act. Right. And then the set turns around, and you're on, they're, they're on the road for three or four months, and now you're backstage uh, witnessing the antics that go on backstage. Right. You know? And, so and the relationships that are happening on stage yeah. start to mirror the relationships that are happening yeah. off stage. Gotcha. And then get more complicated. And you were saying the set here is pretty amazing. Uh, the the way that the set is constructed and it spins around. Well, in a farce, set is one of the characters. Yeah. There's six to ten doors on stage. Mm. They all get slammed and opened and banged. They punctuate lines. They add to the play. Right, Tim? Right. Say? And also part of farce is uh, lingerie, yeah. which Frank oh, wears at some that. point. No, oh, I'm joking. Sure. He does. <laughs> He's getting even for mentioning the new theater company. <laughs> right. We were talking about having you guys maybe do this interview topless uh, without your shirts because <laughs> it would add a little something extra to it. But but it, it's a sex farce in a way too, it, isn't it? it this is. show? I, I mean, I'll take my shirt off if you want me to. <laughs> sure, it's heck. <laughs> no, I'm. Go for it. It's the internet. Yeah, you know, no internet. one's really going to care. So. Big old bear. I'm a bear. You know what the bears are? What is that? <laughs> Guys that are big and strapping and hairy. That's bears. Right. Do you, get, do you get typecast as that? Is that kind of a role? Is that nah, I get typecast as the guy next door, the priest, the, the best friend, the cop. You, I would actually typecast him as like a Dom DeLuise, younger version Anything of Dom DeLuise. Dom DeLuise does, I do. Isn't he brilliant, though? Hilarious. Absolutely. Hilarious, man. Great guy. And, and you guys are also uh, dancers and comedians and singers mm -hmm. and total... Yeah. I wouldn't call myself a dancer. In the industry, we say well. we move well. Movement. Movement. <laughs> he moves well. But we both yeah. sing and, and we both do comedy, so. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Well, we are looking yeah. forward to, to Noises Off. It sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, get you, out here and see it. I mean, it's, you are, I don't think you're, if the problem with this show, it doesn't get done very often for a lot of reasons. It's, the set's expensive. Yeah. It's very difficult to stage it. And right. so you have an opportunity to see a production, that, a really great production of this that you're not going to see anywhere else. So right. I say get your buns out here, get on the phone, <laughs> make some reservations. Guarantee a laugh riot. And, and it's that's right. hilarious. You're yeah. cracking me up. I appreciate I appreciate you guys taking time out of your busy rehearsal schedule. We had to pull you out of rehearsal here to do this. Thanks for taking time and talking oh, to pleasure. us. My pleasure. Nice yeah. to meet you guys. Take care. Nice meeting you. Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. Have a great week in Cool Cleveland. <laughs> wow, that's a pan right there.